their communications colleagues, Marissa Wasala here, your new media associate at Community Media Workshop. I'm here today to show you just how easy it is to post your nonprofit video across social media platforms for maximum exposure. Okay, so you've gone through the painstaking production process. You've made your video outline, video, audio, all the stuff that's going to happen. You've collected all of your media and you've edited, exported, and compressed your video and uploaded it to YouTube. Now, all you need is an audience. So depending on your communications plan, I bet you're going to want to add this video to all your social media channels. Let me show you how. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video, embed it into last year's nonprofit communicator blog, um, and embed it into all of our different online platforms, meaning our blog, our Twitter, our Facebook, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. So first I find the video on YouTube where the video is being hosted, and I'm going to hit the share button underneath the video, and it will give me both a direct link and an embed code for the video. I'm going to take that embed code, and I'm going to copy it, go to the HTML version of the blog, and paste it there. I'm also going to create a link to it, that blog by going to the Nonprofit Communicator blog, copying that URL, and posting it into our blog post. Now I want to put this link to the blog post and Twitter. So I go to twitter.com, create a new status update, type in everything we want to know about this blog post, and paste the blog post, and hit tweet once I've gotten the right verbiage. I want to be as descriptive as possible so that people want to click through. Gotta grab that audience. And it's under 140 characters, click tweet, and everybody on Twitter knows that there's a new video watch. So now, I'm gonna go to Facebook. I want to use Facebook as the organization page, which you can do by clicking the little arrow in the corner if you're an administrator of that page, and type a new status update. Get that right verbiage, and paste the URL. I opted not to have a thumbnail. And then I'm going to post, and now all of our followers on Facebook know that there's a video to watch. Now let's go to LinkedIn. This is my personal LinkedIn profile because I'm an administrator of our organizational page. I'm going to go to companies and I'm going to hit our organizational page and I have the option to update our status as an organization the way I would on Facebook. So I am going to type in our message, which is slightly different from the Facebook because it's a different platform, and attach the URL through the uh, URL attachment link, hit post, and Everyone on LinkedIn knows that we have a new video. Now we're going to go to Pinterest. Um, I've actually added a Pinterest um, bookmarklet already to my, to my Safari browser. And all I have to do is go to YouTube, hit that pin it button, and I can pin anything, including videos, to any one of my boards. I haven't created a board for videos yet, so I'm just going to type it in here favorite videos, create, pin it. All right, now I can see videos on my Pinterest. And that's about it. See, that wasn't so hard, now was it? So if you're looking to put together or amp up your video strategy, join us for a video strategy panel at the Making Media Connections Conference this June 14th at Film Row Cinema. So don't wait. Maybe you can wait till the end of this video, but when this video ends, why don't you follow this URL, this URL, and register now. We'll see you at Making Media Connections.